Hello people, this is Eric Cobra and this is Let's Play The Walking Dead Blind. I um, hopefully fixed the whole screen ratio thing that was not very complained about last time. Also I was informed that in this universe, um, the modern zombie never appeared. Though I would still insist that the idea of crushing the head to kill them should still be in use. It is a pretty common throw, as is impaling the undead to stop them. Uh, so unless a whole lot of mythology went missing, they should still have some basic idea. Of course, then again, I can imagine being pretty surprised by the existence of, well, zombies. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Yep. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't Sorry! Sorry. I'm not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Nope. Um, we're we looking for help. help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Nice hey. to meet you. This is Clementine. I'm Chet. Hey. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Just some guy. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Let's get yep. going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Oh, oh. Leave quick. Let's go. Yes, yes. Come on, push, push, push. Keep an eye on those damn things. Oh, good idea, Clementine. Wait, in the car, in the car, in the car. Hit the pedal! Oh shit! Just some guy? It seems like you saved a bunch of lives today. Thanks. I was just in the neighborhood, so might as well help. Whew. Oh. Huh. Well. Seems like we're doing all right. There should be less of a zombie concentration out here. Hmm. Uh, unlike this hey, place John, is a bit too. I'm gonna run on home. Um, My mom was gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Yeah, but it's better than being in the city. Probably a lower population of zombies here. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you, then. Hey! You brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Yep. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I mean, I can't even stomp on the heads with this Come leg. On, run on in and check on your sister. You take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have.
Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Well, it hurts. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Hmm. Herschel knows How your name. How did this happen? Car accident. car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? Out. Just uh, out for a drive. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with? The girl? Mm, the I police was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful yeah. Nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with my I guess that is technically true. I mean it's not a lie. He was giving me a ride. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. I like that idea. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. I Your think son's it's... right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I saw a cop come back from the dead. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Fair enough. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. Oh, that would be just what wonderful. Do do? We'll probably just have to shoot you. <laughs> you're kidding, we'll right? Clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Thank okay, you. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards Macon, I suppose. All right then. Hmm. It smells like manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. Yep. I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh. I don't even know where it is. I love you, baby. <laughs> oh, am I getting some backstory on- OH GOD! Get up. Morning. Ooh. I'm itchy. Uh, hey, we'll do well, that you too. You slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. Wonderful. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Dodging or quacking? Quacking. Ah. Dad! See? The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. I can do that. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. 
Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. <laughs> on the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Fair enough, I suppose. Hey there, girls. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? This could all be providence, you know? Not what we saw. You just never realize when something is happening to you, what you're being given. Maybe this will all work out. Your optimism is refreshing. New. These past couple days, at least. Yeah, I mean, I'm not much of an optimist, but... Thinking now and then, oh, I want to go back uh, before all this. Well, it doesn't really work out. I mean, you can always have fun wondering what ifs, could have, all that, but sinking into that? No. Instead, it's best to look at where are we now and what can we do. You can't predict everything after all, so try your best from where you're standing. But you look you pretty relaxed. actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. <laughs> so, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale, like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. Okay. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Hey! Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. How's your son doing? Hmm. Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. Oh, dear. Thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and. Christ. Just lucky I was there. Yep. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. I can admire that. So what's your plan? So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. Huh. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. A line on retreat would be preferable to this. So, being devoured by zombies. Hmm. Might as well gather info, you know. Make plans. Hey, little kid.
You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Sean's still working on that fence. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that'd sure speed things up. Oh, sure. I can do that. Pretty easy. I mean, I don't fancy myself a handyman or anything, but... My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. Wow. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. Apparently not in this movie. Like Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... I had to shoot one. I could shoot one. Maybe. If it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. Yeah. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Mm. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. No idea. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Thank you. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Huh. Well, I might as well go over there and help him, then. It's all very relaxing right now, I notice. You just call if you need anything else. Whoop. <laughs> Jump cut. <laughs> okay. Hey! Old man Herschel, need help? 